Michael Cohen was the once loyal confidant turned adversary of former President Donald Trump. Cohen served as vice president of the Trump Organization and personal counsel to Trump, often being described as his fixer. Cohen continues to hold residence in his longtime Trump Park Avenue condo despite their tumultuous relationship, the New York Post reported. Michael Cohen along with his wife Laura, purchased the lavish Upper East Side apartment located at 502 Park Avenue in 2005, shelling out nearly $5 million for it, according to the Post. At the time of purchase, they secured a $2 million mortgage to seal the deal. Cohen managed to clear the entirety of his mortgage debt by 2019. Further Post reported that Cohen made a strategic move by transferring the ownership of the property into a qualified personal residence trust in the same year. This maneuver not only shields the property from hefty gift taxes, but also ensures a smooth transition of assets to the couple's two children. It seems for now, Cohen harbors no plans to part ways with the property bearing the name of his estranged former boss. Moreover, recent findings suggest that Cohen maintains his position as a member of the board of managers of the building, showcasing his continued involvement in the Trump-branded establishment. Originally erected as the iconic Hotel Del Monaco in 1929, the building underwent a transformation under Trump's ownership in 2001. Trump's vision, realized by architect Costas Kanlilis, transformed the structure into a residential building boasting 120 luxury condominiums and eight penthouses. Michael Cohen, the ex-attorney for Trump who previously declared his willingness to take a bullet for the former president and dubbed himself as Trump's pit bull, is set to take the stand as the crucial witness for prosecutors in Trump's criminal hush money trial in New York. This move further solidifies the strained dynamic between Cohen and the presumptive 2024 Republican Party presidential nominee to fight out with the incumbent Joe Biden. After Cohen was sentenced in federal district court to three years in prison and directed to pay a $50,000 fine for criminal tax evasion, making false statements to a bank and campaign finance violations, his relationship with Trump deteriorated. In his 2019 memoir, Cohen attributed his incarceration to his connection with Trump. In 2020, during the final year of his sentencing, he was subjected to home confinement at this condo for about year before his official release in late 2021. Do you think Michael Cohen should hold on to the Trump Tower condo despite their strained relationship? Thank you for watching. Give this video a like and subscribe to our channel.